my first passion was teaching. And I thought, I'm going to finish what I started it. I wanted to be a teacher, I'm gonna be a teacher. I started at Somerset Community College because my mom had went there, a lot of my family had went there. It had a lot of programs that I was interested in. I loved science and they had a lot of science classes. And it just seemed like it had a, a more of a family feel than the bigger colleges did. A lot of the science classes I took at Somerset Community College really en enabled me to be a better advocate for my daughter when we visited doctors and health professionals. It's amazing to go back and see what I learned 20 years ago be so important now in my life. When Grace Anna was born, she had a rare form of dwarfism. And she had a lot of health issues. And my plans of being a teacher the rest of my life were changed. So now I spend my days being an advocate for people with special needs, homeschooling my daughter, and writing books to inspire others to look at people with disabilities in a different light. Uh, I know this sounds crazy, but I do sing the Star Spangled Banner a lot. And she started singing the anthem with me. I never really tried to teach it to her. She, I guess she just picked it up. And I recorded it, didn't think a whole lot about it. And within two or three weeks, the video had went viral. Her voice kind of resonates with people, but I think it's her story that really touches people because she goes through all this stuff with a smile on her face. I've written Grace Anna Sings, which is a, the story of my daughter's journey. And it's also a book about our life before she came along. It talks about the things that she has went through, not just the amazing things, but the hurdles that she has overcome. I wrote, who do you see when you look at me along with my daughter, Grace Anna, after a doctor's visit that she and I went to. And we were sitting there in the waiting room and a couple looked over at us. And they were a, probably a very well-meaning couple, thought Grace Anna was cute. But when we left the doctor's office, she looked at me and said, Mama, I wonder what they think when they look at me. Do they see me or do they see my wheelchair? She and I sat down, talked about what we wanted people to know about her. And she said, Mama, I want them to know I have fun. I want them to know I have talents and I can do stuff. And I want them to know I'm just like them. So that's what we did. We told her story through those pages. SEC has given me a better life, not only through education and courses that helped me take care of my daughter, help me teach my students, and help me be a better person. SEC also instilled in me a feeling of positivity, that I can do it. That's when a school, a college, really does its job, that you're not just focused on yourself, you're focused on the happiness and lives of others.